So right here is one of my new favorite decks, and it's Mystic Mine. And this is the build that Jeff uses. So just extravagance to bait out the negate. They negate it because they have to. Pay 2,000 for final countdown, set a judgment. So the extravagance one been really nice to resolve. So that way we can actually potentially ruin them. So it just blows up the judgment. I'll just let them. I'm not going to pay half my life points to stop a phoenix. But we have the extravagance to uh, bait out the negate once again, which is always nice. So he just attacks. And I'm actually pretty sure that um, Solid Mangrage kind of actually hit me for game if they ran like a different build. So yeah, he negates it. Paw Duality. We get that left arm offering. Mystic Mind, activate it. And then we just, you know, wait for Final Countdown to resolve. <laughs> Got Wave Motion Cannon, make it a little faster. He sets a Solemn Warning, which does absolutely nothing to me. But I guess he's pretending like it's an impermanence. Set a Judgment so I can just stop him from Twin Twistering me or anything. Paw Duality, Prohibition. Called Salaman Great Roar. Well, Rage, I mean. And we just let time pass. Left arm offering so I can start stacking his deck. And he just scoops. Time for game two. Just does all the Salaman Great plays. But he just ends on Sunlight Wolf, which isn't really that great. So Paw Duality, he immediately hits it with an Ash. He's going to regret it because left arm for Mystic Mine. And uh, normally I wouldn't try to banish that many cards, but there's just nothing else I could really do. Prohibition. Calling Salaman Great Rage. Because that's the card I'm kind of scared of that they'll hit me with. Wave Motion Cannon, so we can get into, you know, one of our win conditions. Final countdown, because why not? And yeah, this is this is usually how most games go if they have no response. We have the Demise. They can't Ash me because of the <laughs> Mystic Mind. Set the Judgment, and once you set the Judgment, you usually feel pretty good. So Field Barrier, just uh, let everything pass. He sets the Imperial Order, which is a pretty spicy card. So terraforming, order, judgment, and he quits. We're going up against Thunders, he went first. It's kind of funny because I think I lost every single die roll. Because usually with this deck you want to go first. But going second actually does like pretty good too. Because all you have to do is bait out enough negates and, and ash and everything to the point where you get Mystic Mine on the field. Then activate a win condition. And then just do nothing <laughs> So you use Colossus to get rid of the Mystic Mine. Final Countdown, set Dark Bribe, set Prohibition. Probably shouldn't have set Demise of the Land. But then he just hit me with a Seca, so it doesn't really matter. And he attacked for game. So Extravagance, debate out the Ash, no Ash, Duality. And got the Mystic Mine, Field Barrier, Prohibition. <laughs> yeah, for Twin Twisters, stacking his deck. And got to negate everything set. Brings out the Colossus. Don't really care. Lord of Darkness. Don't really care. He probably should have set them in permanence. But I guess. It doesn't matter too much. I'll just keep stacking his deck. He's going to Danko me. And I'll just go ahead and Judgment him. Just set another Judgment. Draw one card. Don't really need the DDD guide. And now we got our win condition, and we're just stacking his deck. And I, I let him have a Twin Twisters because I have Prohibition on the field, so I don't even care. And even if he did use the Judgment to basically get over the Prohibition, I still have the Judgment. I mean, if he used the Impermanence to uh, get over the Prohibition or whatever. And he just lure Darknesses into discarding all of his hands. Because I wanted to stop him from getting Trap Tricks in case he had Dynamiscus. Even though I could just stop him with Judgment. So, we got Game 3. 
He makes Titan. Sets two instant fusions. Extravagance. I was actually kind of scared of the back row, but it's whatever. He just attacks. Ends turn. Just left arm offering. Mystic Mine. He chains. Okay. He actually blows up his own card, which I was really happy to see because I guess he thought that I was going to lose the Mystic Mine, but I had the Field Barrier. So yeah, we're going to just kind of set here and just wait for Final Countdown to resolve. And this is this is just such a fun deck to play. <laughs> like your opponent just like hates it. A lot of times they scoop, but you know sometimes they'll stay in there. So just keep stacking his deck. He has uh, no monsters on the field, so he can actually activate monster effects. But it doesn't really matter unless if he can actually get over my cards. So fusion for the Colossus. I don't really care. Stack his deck. Prohibition for Twin Twisters. Sets all these cards, and I won by final countdown. So going up against Muskets. It's extravagant, so he has to negate it. Special Summon, Duality. Trying to avoid all the zones the Muskets are in. And just got extravagance because it can't really do much. Stack his deck, wave motion cannon. Goes into Utopia double. Battle phase, attack, attack. And I'm actually not sure why he didn't uh, use double or nothing. But, okay. So he just negates it. Activate Mystic Mine. Activate Fill Barrier. Stack his deck. At this point, there's not really anything he can do. <laughs> so yeah, just keep passing turns, keep stacking their deck until they quit. Normal summon set and permanence. So terraforming eats the ash. Pod duality. Get the metaverse, which is nice. Prohibition. Cardamize, wave motion cannon. I'm pretty sure I uh, called last stand with the prohibition. Yeah, last stand so they can't negate my stuff. Prohibition for their uh, desperado so they, <laughs> so they can't use their magical musket cards to go over me. So yeah, he just quit. Now we got pendulums. It's going to make all those negates and do all their pendulum plays and whatnot. Just blah, 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 blah. LP, Triple Burst, Special Summon, Overlay, Link, brings out the Negate Everything, has the Heretic Seal. I was actually worried that he was going to go into the FA Don Dragster, which luckily he didn't, so he just negates that. Wave Motion, <laughs> the Goddess Skull, he brings out Unicorn to actually get rid of it. Left arm offering. Bounces wave motion cannon to my hand, doesn't really matter. And he just scoops. So here's the build. Three th DD guides, three extravagance, three demise, one terraforming, three left arm, one final countdown, three duality, three demise of the land, three field barrier, Three Goddess Skulls Oracle. Two Wave Motion Cannons. Three po Prohibition. Three Myst Mystic Mine. One Metaverse. Three Judgment. Three Dark Bribe. Uh, we don't even care about the extra deck. It's just anything. Three Lava Golem. Three Kaiju. Three Dark Ruler No More. Three Unending Nightmare. And three Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. 